Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day and today we're going to be looking at some cool Halo 5 Banish themed prefabs. So with Infinite getting closer by the day, I figured we would check out some cool Banished themed prefabs that are created by people in Halo 5 Forge. Um, and yeah, we're going to be checking some out. I'm just going to be showcasing them. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and look at these cool prefabs. So the first one we're going to check out today is my favorite and probably the best working one some of them are a little janky but this one's probably the best working one in my opinion and that is the banished ghost so as you can see it is banished themed even has some red lights on it which is really cool it has like red lights by the engine as well as a red hologram right in the driver's seat so it looks even more banished like the crater even used a sort of sing helios ghost which is red to make it kind of blend in more with the forged pieces so yeah with that being said let's go ahead and give this a little test drive and as you can see works perfectly fine there's really nothing wrong with it because a lot of problems with a lot of the prefabs that people make um you know they they're, they're like very janky and stuff and they like kind of lag and stuff like that sometimes it's like hard to turn but this one's very like fluid it's great it, there's like no jankiness to it um, it does lean a little a little bit too much. It like unbalances sometimes it seems like but Other than that, it's really it's pretty fluid. I wouldn't say there's many problems with it um, But it does seem like you can't shoot which I actually just realized right now you cannot shoot it seems like Yeah, oh that really sucks. So that's unfortunate um, Yeah, so look I thought these were the actual guns. Oh, they're right there. Hmm interesting. So why aren't they working? Huh. So that's interesting. So I guess they don't work. So that's unfortunate. Alright, so now let's take a look at the Banished Wraith. As you can see, we even got the spikes in front here, which is really cool. It probably makes it easier to splatter people. Although, yeah, it probably does make it easier to splatter people with the spikes and everything. So yeah, we got the spikes. We got, of course, the Banished Red and the Steel color. We got the orange lights or yellow lights actually. The back does look a little funny because it's just like three round balls. <laughs> so it looks kind of funny. Oh, you can still damage it though. Well, that was weird. But um, yeah, the back looks a little funny just because it's like three giant round balls. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it does look a lot like the one in Halo Wars 2. And now let's go ahead and give it a test drive. But before we do that, let's go ahead and hop in the gun, see if it actually works. Because I believe when I tried it earlier, it actually doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, okay, wait. Um. So it seems like you, you can only shoot, like, at the very front right here. And that's it. Yeah, it seems like it's only this certain spot right here. So that's unfortunate, but... Um. Yeah, it seems like a lot of his vehicles... Just don't he doesn't really have the shooting function to it not sure why maybe it's because it would look weird if he like tried to make it so like remove something like maybe he could have removed some of the stuff here but it might have made the freaking might have made it look worse I don't know I really don't know but regardless still a cool piece or rather prefab in the Wraith see how it drives pretty cool Oh, this is so cool, man. I can't wait for Infinite. Like, <laughs> I just can't wait. The only thing that sucks is, of course, the plasma is not red. Because, you know, of course, that's not possible. There's no Wraith that shoots red shots. Or red plasma, rather, in Halo 5. But, um, as you can see, this one's actually kind of similar to the Ghost. You know what? Perf actually, it might actually be better. I kind of changed my mind. It's not, it's not clunky at all. Um... Yeah, it seems good. You can shoot the tank, or the main tank, or not the main tank, what am I saying? The main gun. But you can't shoot the... You can't shoot the machine gun, or rather the plasma turret. It's probably the only downside of this one. Now, this one is the Banished Banshee, and this one's a little more funny because the Banshee is actually invisible. Um, until, of course, you actually get in the vehicle, which is pretty cool. But, um, so let me switch to forge mode real quick. So as you can see, <laughs> the Banshees actually, like, merge with it. 
like that and it's kind of funny because you know when you're playing the game you're gonna see it like this and then once you get on boom <laughs> the banshee just appears out of nowhere um but yeah it's really cool this one this one's a little more janky um let me see if you can do banshee tricks. Yeah, the banshee tricks are a little more janky. It feels like they have more weight to it. Um, but other than that, there's really nothing bad about it. This one's good because you can actually shoot. So it's really cool. So now we're moving on to another banished vehicle. This one is called the banished, I think, vamp vampire or something. I, I'm probably saying it wrong. I definitely am saying it wrong. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. But um, this is supposed to be a banished version of the Halo Wars vehicle in the first Halo Wars game, not in Halo Wars 2. Because I believe it's like a weird, it's like a needle, it's like a giant needler aircraft kind of thing is the best way to describe it. Of course I'm going to be like throwing down some images and stuff so you guys can like see what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be a banished version of that. And so it's got a bunch of blue lights. Not sure why he chose blue lights. That's kind of... Uh, maybe it's supposed to... I'm not exactly sure. I feel like he should have done red lights or like orange lights like these have. Or yellow lights, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure why I keep saying orange. They're more yellowish to be honest. Um, we also got the needles in the back here as you can see. We got guns on the side. Unfortunately, you can't use any of the stuff, you know. You can fly it, but I'm not sure if you can shoot. We're about to find out right now so let's go ahead and hop in oh it also has like a cool little you know booster thing in the back you know everything's cosmetic though so it doesn't actually affect the vehicle who knows maybe in infinite forge we'll be able to actually make our own custom vehicles i don't know i mean halo 5's forge is impressive within itself so i feel like halo infinite's forge is just gonna take it a step higher at least i'm hoping so but um yeah this one's kind of like the banshee except a little worse in terms of it kind of just like being very imbalanced or unbalanced is what I should be saying. You know, it seems to like just kind of like weighs on one side and the other one. You can't really turn. It's kind of hard to turn. As you can see, I'm trying to just like <laughs> drive around. It's just flipping around. So now I save the biggest one for last, which is more of a set piece kind of thing. It's a, supposed to be a banished. What's the appropriate term? What is it called? A, a banished hanger. That's what it is. And this one's actually pretty cool. It actually has some banished spirits. And then we got regular banshees here, which... Um, it's kind of weird. I feel like he should have put the banished banshees or something like that. Or like I said, the orange looking banshees to make it kind of fit in more. Dead grunts and stuff. As you can see, they're like reddish and they got the kind of like the chrome color. As well as, well as the elites, as you can see. Pretty cool. The one thing I really like about this is the doors. These doors look really cool. So we got like these cool like doors. They look like the ones from um, Halo 1. It does not open, just in case you were curious. It does not open or anything. There's no way to open it, but um, still a really cool piece. And so it does have a second level. On the second level, there's just more dead bodies. We actually got jackals, um, some portable shields, and shade turns. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Checked out about like five banished prefabs it's pretty cool so if you guys would like to see more prefabs be sure to like the video and subscribe i do really anything halo and it really does show your support and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching peace